we now learn how to find the coordinates of a parabola's vertex. Now let's start by seeing exactly what we mean when we say vertex. Here we can see two parabola. We have one parabola here on the left hand side and a second parabola here on the right hand side. Now both of these parabola will have an equation looking something like this. y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. And any parabola, in other words any curve whose equation can be written in this format, will have either a maximum or a minimum point. And in either case, a maximum or a minimum are both known as a vertex. So looking at this first parabola here, we can see that it's concave up, and consequently we can tell that the sign of the coefficient a is positive. And in this case, the parabola will have a minimum point. On the other hand, for the second parabola, we can see that it's concave down, and consequently the sign of the coefficient a will be negative, and the parabola will have a maximum point. So that's what a vertex actually is. It's either a minimum or a maximum point. Now to actually find the coordinates of the vertex, we follow two steps. The first step, step one, will always be to calculate the horizontal coordinate of the vertex. In other words, we have to calculate the x-coordinate of the vertex. And luckily for us, there's a formula for that. The horizontal or x-coordinate of the vertex will always be given by the following. h equals to negative b over 2a. And I'll just box that result. Now in this formula, h simply refers to the horizontal coordinate of the vertex and b and a are the coefficients that we would find in the parabola's equation. Once we have the horizontal coordinate of the vertex, we move on to step 2, and in step 2 all we need to do is plug the horizontal coordinate back into the parabola's equation, and that will give us the y-coordinate. Okay, now that we've written down the two-step method, let's go ahead and actually see how to do that with a couple of examples. As a first example, we're asked to find the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola defined by y equals to 2x squared minus 4x minus 6. Well, to do this, we follow our two-step method. Remember, step one, we calculate the x-coordinate or horizontal coordinate of the vertex. And to do that, we use our formula h equals to negative b over 2a. And looking at our parabola's equation here, we can see that we have the coefficients a equals to 2, b equals to negative 4, and c equals to negative 6. So replacing b and a by their respective values, we find that this formula leads us to negative negative 4 over 2 times 2. That's equal to negative negative 4, which is 4, over 2 times 2, which is also 4. Finally, h, the horizontal coordinate, is equal to 1. And that's the first step done. We now have the horizontal coordinate of the vertex. We move on to step 2, and in step 2, we calculate the y-coordinate of the vertex. And to do that, all we have to do is plug in h equals to 1 inside the parabola's equation, which, remember, was y equals to 2x squared minus 4x minus 6. So here's how we would do that. We have y equals to 2x squared minus 4x minus 6. So when x equals to 1, this turns into y equals to 2 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 minus 6. And if I carry on with my working to the right hand side here, that leads us to y equals to 2 times 1 minus 4 minus 6. That's equal to 2 minus 4 minus 6. And 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 2 minus 6. And finally, negative 2 minus 6 is equal to negative 8. So we find y equals to negative 8. And that's the y-coordinate of the vertex. And we're now done. We can now state that this parabola's vertex has coordinates 1 
and negative 8. And we could confirm this result by looking at the parabola with a calculator, for instance. We can see that because the coefficient a is positive, this vertex corresponds to a minimum. And on an xy grid, it would look something like this. where the vertex is a minimum point with coordinates 1, negative 8. And there we have it. Let's look at one more example. As a second example, we're asked to find the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola defined by y equals to negative x squared minus 4x minus 1. To do that, again, we follow our two-step method. Remember, that was step one, we calculate the horizontal, or x, coordinate of the vertex. And the formula for that was h equals to negative b over 2a. Now in this instance, our parabola has coefficients a equals to negative 1, b equals to negative 4, and c equals to negative 1. So replacing b and a by their respective values, this formula leads us to h equals to negative negative 4 over 2 times negative 1. That's equal to negative negative 4, which is 4, over 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. Finally, 4 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 2, so h is equal to negative 2. And that's our first step done. We now know the horizontal coordinate of the vertex. We move on to step two. And in step two, remember, we plug in the horizontal coordinate of the vertex back inside the equation of the parabola. That was y equals to negative x squared minus 4x minus 1. So I'll just copy that here. We have y equals to negative x squared minus 4x minus 1. And when x equals to negative 2, that's negative 2, which is the horizontal coordinate of the vertex, y turns into the following. y equals to negative, and negative 2 in parentheses, squared, minus 4 times negative 2, minus 1. That's equal to negative, negative 2 squared, which is 4 minus 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8, minus 1, and that's equal to negative 4 minus negative 8. Now when we subtract a negative, it turns into an addition, so that's negative 4 plus 8 minus 1, and now negative 4 plus 8 is equal to 4, so that's 4 minus 1, and finally 4 minus 1 is 3, so we can state that the y-coordinate of the vertex is equal to 3. And that's the second step done. And at this stage, we can state the final answer. This parabola's vertex has coordinates negative 2 and 3. And once more, we could confirm this result by looking at this parabola's curve. We can see that the coefficient a is negative, so this vertex is a maximum point, and the curve would look something like this. With a maximum point with coordinates negative 2 and 3. And there we have it. That's how we can find the coordinates of a parabola's vertex, or maximum or minimum point. And that's it for this tutorial. There we go everyone, I really hope that helped, and if it did, please hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel, because that really does help us. I'll see you soon.